doesn't get too agitated or aggressive, time to time, we like to give her some space. Remember when you're dealing with... Whoa, whoa. Okay, so folks over here, just stay very calm. If you make a sudden movement, she might think that you're prey. She might try to change. Ladies and gentlemen, in the latter part of the Cretaceous period, Dromaeosaurus ruled the land using their speed, agility, and vicious hunting techniques. Today, we invite the bravest among you to encounter the mightiest theropod of 75 million years ago, the Velociraptor. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Raptor Encounter. My name is Jennifer. I'm a dinosaur handler here at Jurassic World. Now, these kinds of trainings are very important for our Raptor program as they allow us a chance to study these dinosaurs and their relationship and proximity to humans. And today, we are using our favorite Velociraptor, Blue, because of her extreme intelligence and empathy towards guests. So as you approach... Oh, no, 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 no. Sounds like Blue's getting just a little feisty. Folks, stand by. Ventex, let's take a moment to resecure the perimeter. Stand by. Yes, copy. Okay, so folks, as you approach, just remember this is a wild and dangerous animal. Follow all of our instructions and everyone should stay safe. Ventex, is she ready? She is. We have confirmation. Blue is ready. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Yay! A few people said yes. Are you ready to see a raptor? Yay! Excellent. Okay, Ventex, let's open the gates. Easy. Eyes on me. Blue. Hold. Blue. Hey. Good. That's more like it. Hey, hey, easy. 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 And we're moving. Good. Good girl, Blue. Hold. So like I said, she's being a little feisty, but she is still responding to my voice commands. I think we're ready to begin the encounter. First guests, come forward. Stand right here. We're going to ask you to take as many photographs as you like. My vet techs are there just to assist you with your documentation devices. You're all together here? Perfect, perfect. Yeah, we'll go one group or family at a time. If you wish to join us for some photo or video documentation with Blue, you can line up against the wall. That is the beginning of our queue for photos and videos. If you just wish to observe, yeah, you folks can fill in the space over here. You're welcome to come as close to the chains as you want. Just don't go over the chains. Then you'll be in Blue's territory and she might try to bite you, that's for sure. Did you get all the photos you need? Well done. Thank you for taking as many photos as you can because our purposes here today are to document, analyze, and to overall just observe Blue's behavioral patterns. Now we are focusing on non-aggressive behavior to see if we can understand more about the intelligence and psychological nature of these dinosaurs. Now we've specifically chosen to use Blue, who is the alpha female, because she is the most intelligent raptor. Thank you very much. Next family, when you're ready, come on forward. Right over this one, yeah, this is actually good. She's been demonstrating a little bit of her feisty side. But, yeah, right over this way. Perfect. There you go, my friend. Good, good, good. Right over that way. Good. She has been showing us just a little bit of her feisty nature. It's nothing to be too concerned. Whoa, whoa. Hey. Easy. That's why if you are standing closer to the chains, just mind your perimeter. These animals, as you can see, can be very territorial. Now, to showcase that dominant behavior, she will try to snap at you. If she thinks you're infiltrating her space, good job. The best thing, I was just gonna say, and you folks did it perfect, the best thing you can do is stay calm. Perfect, it's great. We have observed how Velociraptors use their body language to communicate to each other. So the best thing you can do is use your own body language to communicate to Blue. Good job, you guys did great. If you got all your photo documentation, just over there, please. Good. Yeah, each and every group stepping forward is giving Blue something different to respond to. And it's giving us a chance to document her response in real time. Stand right there. Now, just a few things to go over, safety-wise. We don't anticipate Blue getting super aggressive, but if she does, she will attack anyone wearing the color red and smaller animals or in our case is homo sapiens, that does mean small children. Just so you know, I don't anticipate... 
I don't anticipate anything happening, but just in case. I saw your red sweatshirt, and I was like, no. But I think we're gonna be fun. Check out Blue's behavior. You don't have to be an expert to see. She's maintaining distance. She's not getting too aggressive, but she is very aware of her surroundings. Never underestimate the alpha female raptor. Any raptor, really, but especially the alpha. She has taken great pains to showcase how strong, agile, and intelligent she is. That's why the other raptors have just allowed her to become the alpha. She is definitely the leader because she earned it. She has shown exactly her strengths towards that position in the hierarchy of the pack. Stand right here, folks. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions about Blue? Yeah, question over there. What's your question? I don't think I can quite hear you. What is it? Oh, excellent question. Is she bigger than an average raptor? Yes, that would have been around 65 million years ago. She's a little bit closer to the size of a Utah raptor. But we had to go through a lot of genetic modification to recreate her here in Engine. So, in layman's terms, we didn't have the full DNA code for raptor. So our geneticists had to kind of fill in the gaps. And because of those modifications, she's presenting a little bit larger than a Velociraptor from the Cretaceous period. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is a little bit closer to the size of a Utah raptor. Trust me, this is about as large as we want her. <laughs> She's already enough for us to handle. She eats about eight to 900 pounds of meat in one day. What's your question? What is her favorite food? Inquisitive children. That's actually a joke, but now that I say it out loud, I realize how, how true that technically is. Because she eats meat, she's a carnivore, and technically speaking, we're considered a snack to her. Fortunately for you, we keep her pretty well fed. What's your question? Why does he, why don't he, he or she like the color red? Why does she like the color red? Well, you have to understand as a carnivore, she's a meat eater. When she sees red, it looks like raw meat to her. So it's something that can absolutely trigger her mesocortical limbic system, which is a fancy word for the reward system in her brain. Hey. The three of you kind of look like breakfast, lunch, and dinner for her. So that, easy, easy. Next family, step forward, you did good. You made it through in one piece instead of pieces, and that is our goal. Next family, come on forward. I don't love the way she's looking at everybody. Uh, that's it. After this photo, let's hold the line for just a moment. It's very important to never underestimate the alpha female. Now, because Blue is the alpha, we don't want to try to cage her in. We want her to feel comfortable in this space. So, as you can see, she's given a little bit of territory that can claim as her own. You still have to be careful, though, because she could charge forward at any moment. And in an effort to make sure that she doesn't get too agitated or aggressive, time to time, we like to give her some space. Remember when you're dealing Whoa, whoa. Okay, so folks over here, just stay very calm. If you make a sudden movement, she might think that you're prey. She might try to chase you. Yeah. Easy. Easy girl. Good girl, Blue. Back. Back up, go on. Good girl, Blue. There you go. Good girl, Blue. Hold, hold. Folks over there, you good? We didn't lose anybody. Did we raise your hand if you're still here? Great. Next. Thank you for your patience. Come on forward. I'm glad nothing happened. We'll allow her some space to exercise that natural curiosity, but as you can see, if she gets too close to the barricade and tests her spatial parameter, that makes all of you closer to those teeth. You gotta watch out for the teeth and jaws. You had a question. Question? Oh, I saw your hand up. Yeah, what's your question? Is she colorful? A carnivore. Yes, she is a meat eater, which is also known as a carnivore. She's colorful. She's Raptor that has that distinctive um, blue stripe going down her backside. What's your question? Where do they think we're their prey? Well, we're trying to re educate Blue to not think of us as prey, but it's easy for her to see a human as prey because we're just another meat source to her. Like a deer, a cow, a sheep, or any other kind of, you know, 
be an animal. <laughs> it should basically would be an animal. But like I said, we're trying to recreate this environment for her. We don't want her to see us as a potential food source, mostly because I'd like to keep this job. What's your question? How old is she? Oh, excellent question. How old do you think she is? Just for fun, based on the way she's moving, she's responding. 10 or 15? Mentally, yes. She's only three years old. I know, these animals reach maturity by about two, two and a half. This is about as big as she's gonna get. And thankfully, because I don't think we can handle much bigger. She's like, whoa, whoa, okay, okay. So these responses are intensifying a little bit, probably because Blue's getting a little hungry. Because they have such a strong metabolism, we try to keep her as well fed as possible. Great questions, everybody over here. Any more questions? Our main focus is to document her behavior and learn about that, but we're very passionate about education as well, yes. Ooh, she weighs roughly about a thousand pounds. She's pretty large, but despite her size, she's still very fast. She can run about 32 miles an hour, give or take a few. Does she like other dinosaurs? Uh, honestly, not very much, because as the alpha, she can be very territorial. So any other dinosaur in her vicinity, she's going to assume you're challenging her. So just keep that dinosaur calm if you don't mind. Huh? I don't know. What's your question? How fast? Blue is the fastest, and she's gotten up to about 32 miles an hour. Yeah, which is pretty good. Okay, easy blue. Did you guys have questions right here? pretty intense discussion. Do you think she's getting more aggressive or less aggressive? I think she's getting a little bit more aggressive. So folks, as you approach, thank you, Vetex. Just because Blue is showing us more aggression, we're going to go ahead and close our line for photos. If you're in line, you're fine. Folks along the wall, just keep moving forward and follow the instructions of my Vetex. Please be advised, we might start seeing some more aggressive responses from her because she is showing signs of hunger and we are close to her now. Yeah. I see a hand here and then a hand over there. What's your question? Is she female? Yes, she is a lady. Sometimes. What's your question? Oh my goodness, does she have any friends? Yes, I'd like to think... Well, I'd like to think she sees us as friends. Myself and my vet tech team who help take care of her. If she has any friends, I would definitely say her three other sisters, Charlie, Delta, and Echo. Yeah, they're a very tight-knit group. The pack is very strong. You should see them hunt together. It's, it's pretty exceptional. What's your question? Ooh, why does she have a blue stripe on her back? She's the only raptor that has that. Basically, we did not have the full DNA code for Velociraptor, so our geneticists had to fill in the gaps with compatible animals. For example, Blue has some reptilian DNA, and also the DNA of the black-throated African monitor lizard, which is where that blue stripe comes from. It's an animal you'll probably never hear about again, <laughs> but very, very compatible animal genetically with a raptor. So yeah, just genetic modification, because our geneticists have to get super creative. What's your last question? Ah, excellent observation. She has 84 razor sharp teeth. A lot of them are pretty jagged because when you're chewing on bones and you know, any kind of animal that you might be eating, chips off very similar to humans. What's your question? She's three years old. And this is an adult, full grown and female. Whoa, easy. She's getting feisty. What's your name? What's your question? That's all right. We'll be here all day. Oh, happy birthday. Mabel, you can stand right there. Yeah. Are you asking if there's someone in there? No, she hasn't been fed yet today. What's your question? Excellent question. She lives right here in Jurassic World. Now, this paddock here is only where she hangs out when we're doing demonstrations. She doesn't live here. There's another whole big section dedicated to our velociraptors. It gives them a lot more space, more like a natural habitat. Obviously, this is not a complete natural habitat, but our purposes for this demonstration are to observe her behavior, not how she interacts with her own kind 
Uh, your question and then your question. Has she ever eaten anyone? No, there's been no raptor related incidences reported. We don't report them. <laughs> How does she bite? Oh, it's about a thousand pounds of square inch pressure. You know, like very similar to an alligator. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your participation here. I think the best part is that nobody got eaten, right? Go! 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 Hey, easy, easy. Good girl. You guys look good. You guys look good. You saw that. 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 You saw that.